Hello viewers and welcome to my channel. Uh, today's topic is serum herpes simplex antibodies test, you know. Uh, but before starting this uh, test uh, topic, you know, I would like to request you to like, subscribe and share these videos to support this channel. And to subscribe this channel, just click the red button uh, just below this video, you know. Uh, and then you will see uh, a bell button, you know, beside that, you know. Uh, once you click the red button, you know. And, uh, by clicking that uh, bell button means that whenever I download, uh, I upload the videos, you will be notified, you know. Thank you very much. And alternatively, if you need more information, you can visit my website as well, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. And the link is in the description area just below this video also, you know. So you can click that link to visit the website. Now I come to the topic, what is a serum herpes simplex antibodies, you know. You know, the serum, uh, uh, this test is... Uh, a blood test and uh, its purpose is uh, to check for the presence of the antibodies to the uh, herpes simplex virus or uh, uh, HSV you know. Now HSV is uh, a common infection and it causes herpes you know and uh, uh, it can appear in various parts of the body but the most common uh, parts which are affected are genitals uh, and uh, the mouth you know and uh, the two types of the uh, infections are hsv1 and hsv2 you know so there are two types of the uh, these uh, uh, like uh, infections you know now in case of hsv1 uh, it which is commonly known as uh, uh, like uh, oral herpes you know uh, so which means that they, they they present in the mouth you know or the tongue or the lips etc you know and uh, it causes the cold, cold sores and the blisters uh, near the mouth or on the face you know uh, it spreads through kissing or sharing after drinking glasses and the utensils you know of the infected person you know and it's generally transmitted through the sexual contact you know uh, HSV2, HSV1 and HSV2 don't always cause the symptoms and the people may not uh, may not be aware that they are infected, you know. And uh, the serum herpes simplex antibodies test does not actually check for the HSV infection itself, you know. So it can determine whether someone has antibodies uh, to the virus. So the antibodies are special uh, kind of proteins uh, and uh, that the body uses to defend itself against the invading organisms such as bacteria or viruses or fungi, you know. Which means that most people who have infected with the HSP will have the corresponding antibodies there, you know. So the test can detect the antibodies for both types of HSV, infection HSV1 and HSV2. Now your doctor may order uh, this test uh, if he or she suspects you have an uh, HSV infection, you know. And uh, the results will determine whether you have been infected with HSV. And if you have the antibodies, uh, then you will mm, uh, It'll be positive test which means it's positive test you know and if you, if you don't currently show any symptoms but which means that the um, uh, those germs are there you know the virus are hsp virus is there you know uh, the next thing is why is this test important and why do the doctors order this test you know what's the purpose you know your doctor order this test uh, to determine whether you have been infected with the HSV1 or HSV2 and uh, they may suspect you have the HSV if you are showing the symptoms of the, uh, this infection you know and the virus does not always cause the symptoms uh, but when it does you may experience uh, in case of HSV1 like the symptoms may include uh, the small and the fluid filled blisters around the mouth a tingling or the burning sensation around the mouth or the nose you know 
sore throat, fever, which is a sign of infection, and the swollen lymph nodes in the neck, which is also a sign of infection, you know. And in case of HSV2, the symptoms may include uh, uh, small blisters or the open sores in the genital area, maybe on the labia minor or major or uh, the, uh, maybe in the uh, penis, etc., you know. And uh, tingling or the burning sensation in the genital area, you know. Uh, muscle aches, fever, sign of infection, and painful urination. Okay, and headaches. So these are the symptoms in case of HSV2. Now, if you are not experiencing the symptoms, the accuracy of the serum herpes simplex antibodies test won't be affected. And uh, the test checks for the antibodies to the virus and it can be performed even when the infection is not causing any uh, a herpes outbreak, you know. And if uh, you have ever been uh, infected with the HSV, you will continue to have the antibodies to the HSV in your blood for the rest of your life, you know. Uh, so whether you are having outbreak or not, you know, so once you are affected, the antibodies will be always there. You know? So, uh, the next thing is, uh, how do the doctors take the sample or uh, what will you expect during a, uh, this uh, uh, serum herpes simplex antibodies test, you know? Well, uh, this test involves taking a small sample of blood and a doctor or a nurse will take the sample you know so before taking the sample he will apply a little antiseptic cream or a liquid on the skin you know and then he will try a band around your arm and uh, just to uh, increase the flow of the blood in the veins to make them swell and make them like visible you know so it will be easy for the doctor or the nurse to detect the vein and then he will insert a needle syringe in, in the vein you know and he will take um, some blood in the tube which will be attached to the that syringe you know and uh, then he will take out the syringe i apply a little bit of pressure and bandage on this and that's it there is no major complication associated with the test your blood, drawn blood you know except maybe a little bit pain and discomfort you know and uh, maybe a little bit bruising you know but there's no serious complication. Then the doctor, it will, the sample will be sent to the lab for the test, you know. And uh, a negative uh, result is considered normal, you know. So which means that there are no antibodies, okay. And this generally means that uh, a, you have never been infected with the HSV because if you ever been infected there will be antibodies there you know so negative result means you never been uh, infected this is good news uh, but it's possible for your results to come back negative even if you are uh, infected within the past few months you know and uh, uh, this is referred to as uh, uh, known as the false negative result and uh, your body will usually take uh, around uh, um, three to four months after the exposure uh, to form the antibodies to the virus you know so this way uh, this is the uh, reason that if you have been infected in the last couple of months uh, your test may result show the negative result you know and uh, you should be aware that there are two possible antibodies that your body can make uh, to HSV1 and HSV2. And uh, these are uh, like uh, uh, IgM and uh, IgG. So IgM is the antibody that is made first and typically it uh, represents uh, a current and accurate infection, although this may not always be the case, you know. 
But in cases of the second one, which is known as IgG, you know, is made after the uh, this antibody is made after the IgM, you know, and typically uh, it will be present in the bloodstream for the rest of your life. Okay, so uh, IgM indicates that uh, there is a recent infection. You, know? you got the infection recently, you know. And uh, IgM means that uh, uh, you don't know, you know, and it will stay there for life, you know. And the presence of uh, IgG uh, does not indicate the current infection, okay. So the IgM uh, uh, shows the current infection. And the positive test means uh, that you have been infected with the either virus at some point, you know. Uh, and the results also allow your doctor to differentiate between the HSV1 and HSV2, you know, uh, which uh, is not always possible by uh, visually examining the source, you know. And depending on the results, your doctor can discuss the ways to treat, okay, and prevent the spread of infection, you know. And, uh, uh, this way these results are very useful thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition you can visit my website which is www.diseasesintreatment.com and please do not forget to subscribe this channel for more information every day thank you and goodbye